as you've been in the you I mean you popped your channel off definitely being on twitch and everything in the gaming space right yeah uh, and you remember gamergate being this uh this thing and you saw these creatives content creators if you want to call it that that were you know they take the politically and socially expedient position mm -hmm. and over the last years it's been really whatever position that the social justice left holds that's really been all it is and the sweet baby ink thing happened and you get other creatives that are finally starting to acknowledge it a a, a, a little bit and it seems like, and correct me if I'm wrong, because again, you've been in this fear for a, for a while, that especially with a lot of the bigger guys, their opinion definitely on these social matters sways wherever the fuck the wind is blowing at the yeah. time. They, they're not principled. It's whatever position that everybody has, or it's, 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 let's say this, it's acceptable at the time, mm -hmm. is the position that they will take publicly. Otherwise, they don't take the position at all. Uh, and maybe it's in secrecy, they wouldn't, but they wouldn't take it publicly. What, what are your thoughts on that? I absolutely, I absolutely agree. You're always going to get, uh, I call them fair weather flyers, you know, and uh, they'll just uh, stick the finger in the air, see which way the wind's blowing, and uh, they'll go along with that. There's, there's an audience for that. There's an audience that will be, because to them, they'll be, oh, no, we're just catching what the hot topic is right now. That's what we're doing. We're just catching the hot topic. You know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it differed from your opinion two months ago, six months ago, a year ago, or whatever it is. Uh, they're going to have that, but you do tend to find, you know, YouTube is a, is a diverse plethora of, of different content. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, you have this, these, these groups that will literally just, just engagement farm. They'll find what the engagement area is, and then they'll, they'll, try and create content based on it within a week uh that's moved on to something else yep we focus on pop culture particularly uh comic space tv film but we kind of do that ourselves but within that remit we have a very specific remit however right. we do have a very specific position which remains consistent throughout uh which may or may not happen with the uh the fair weather flyers yeah yeah i mean look that's what I pick up for sure. I mean, it, it's, and it is kind of, um, oh man, it's just all around weird, man, seeing these guys. And it's so painfully obvious. I mean, definitely when the receipts are out there of them taking the complete opposite position. And I think, you know, man, you want to talk about fine wine, bro. That damn Starfield rant is about as, you want to talk about aging, man. And it just, ah. Fine wine. That's the best that we can say. Well, I said, it, always... I said it at the time. I said, yeah. this is, this is going to age. Believe me, this is going to age well. Yeah. And, and there was a lot of people just like, oh yeah, this, this is, believe me, this will age well. Yeah. Yeah. It, it aged incredibly well, but it's, it's important to, you know, document the fact that this is, this, this is what we've been discussing for a very long time. So it's not like, and this is what I don't want these weirdos to get away with and acting like the cultural change and this bullshit and maybe an infiltration by the authoritarian left happened today. Right. Yeah. Like, no, 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 we're not fucking doing that. No, 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 not, not at all. This has been a thing for a minute. Plenty of us have been calling this out in various different. I mean, hell, how we all linked up really centered around that. Right. A lot of us that are in mm. our space, you had people calling out what was going on in like Star Wars. Myself, I was talking about the, more so the comic space. Comic side, yeah, you yeah. Know, yeah. Uh, and, and this is kind of how it all brought us together. So it's been happening. We've been called it out. And to your point, these fair weather, a lot of them being, uh, again, content creators, especially the bigger they are, it's like the generic of the, the most generic of the positions that they have to hold. It's whatever is safe. We saw a bit of that actually uh, in 2020, right? Uh, doing the sum of love out here. And you saw these uh, uh, fair weather cats taking the typical social justice position publicly, right? Because, again, that was the acceptable position at the time. And now we have with the Sweet Baby Ink thing, and this thing is fucking crumbling, right? Uh, oh, yeah, and yeah, yeah. It, it's no way around it. Now it's like, oh, well, it's, it's a little safer. It's a little safer to talk about it, right? And then to act, uh, act like it's pure ignorance. And it's like, no, no, no. You go watch our videos over the last damn near. I mean, we, we got to be closing on a decade for some of us. Like, it's been a thing. It's got worse. I'll give them that. But it's not like it hasn't been there. 
what you did was call us all crazy. And that's what the textbook gaslighting is, is, well, as a screaming, he's uh, he's just a toxic white, white uh, 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 male. Right. I already like you, Eric. You don't have to flatter me. (laughs) But no, you get it. You know, that's what is what they'll say as (laughs) is he's man baby. Right, man baby. All the terms that they'll throw out there uh, is what they called you. And now, because it comes it becomes a a, a tad bit more socially acceptable. Well, now it's like, well, wait a minute. Uh, it's it's uh we're looking into this. And it's like, wait the fuck up. Well, hold up. You you guys were grilling or attempting to grill folks that were long ahead of this and you were trying to call us crazy. And I don't know what's going to be more interesting to me. And I'll see how the audience uh, responds to this. I'll be looking at chat, which I shouldn't be reading the chat, but you know me, I read chat. (laughs) (laughs) But for those more so the obnoxious ones, I think you'll give the guys that were maybe they knew, but they just kind of, I'm not saying that you were not part of the problem because you for sure were when you didn't want to say anything. You knew it was a problem, but you didn't want to say anything. But at least you didn't take publicly the position of the social justice left just because it was expedient. Mm. I am. I wonder, I, w- I really do wonder how forgiving the audience is going to be for some of these types as this pendulum starts to swing back. And it's not just going to be with gaming. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen in other places. As this thing tries to swing back, how many of these folks that was mountains of evidence of them going after folks like yourself, folks like me, for calling this shit out, mm-hmm. but maybe it becomes a little more socially acceptable. Mm-hmm. Normies get in on it. I'm will. I, I, I want to know how forgiving everybody, everybody's gonna be. Um, completely. Mm. That's what I, I. That's what I legitimately think. Completely. Okay. I don't think there's going to, you know, I don't think there's going to be any uh, recourse for any of those. I mean, we never mind the YouTube channel side of it. You know, obviously I've got my thing going on with Ackman. Uh, it's it's pretty funny. Uh, paying the bills. Thank you. Um, but uh, you just have to look at actual uh, mainstream uh, and, and what's kind of filtering a little bit with like some of the late night shows uh some of the the now acceptable things to say Mm. look at uh certain medical stuff that's probably Uh, just a couple of years ago say it you're done yeah we'll cut your channel we'll we'll get rid of you we'll block the whole job lot now you can actually say the stuff that you were saying uh two years ago uh, and you can say it openly and without fear of um too much recompense don't push it, you know. Don't don't push it too much, but without too much recompense. Mm-hmm. Uh, and uh, I think with all of these, I think most people are very forgiving. I mean, the stuff that's going on with me, I, uh, you know, I don't I don't have any ill will towards yeah. anyone. I don't give a fuck about them, but I don't have any like ill will or anything uh, right. like that. And and I think most audiences are like that. I mean, what we have to understand is uh, let's not let's not pretend. That our audiences, people who come watch my streams, your streams, our videos, aren't heavily catered into our, into our, you know, belief in, into to what we think, mm-hmm. and you know, because they are following somebody that has a, a, a similar opinion to them, mm-hmm. similar mindset to them, uh, they may not always agree with what you say, but for the most part, you know, they are pro you, they are they are pro the position that you take. So I think I think things like this. Always like a, a week time. Get back to me this time next week on ripping a silverback, and it'll and I, I can almost guarantee you be like, oh, oh, dude, that that blew over fucking three days ago, four days ago, you know, yeah, yeah, uh, and and it'll and it'll be it'll be the next thing. Thanks for watching. Be sure to head over to Ripperverse.com to check out our comic book company. We have books, plenty of merchandise, and even some glorious animations from Ripperverse Studios. Next up, possibly our most anticipated book thus far, Yaira. 